Hi, my name is Sean Kiley. I'm an anesthesiologist in the Division of Critical Care Medicine here at the University of Florida. Uh, today we're just going to take a few minutes to talk about point-of-care ultrasound exams, specifically the FEEL and FAPE protocol. FEEL protocol stands for Focused Echocardiographic Evaluation and Life Support. Um, and this protocol uh, basically deals with patients that, are, that have already um, encountered cardiac arrest uh, and are in the stages of being uh, coded. Um, the point of this, uh, this particular protocol is to be able to bring our ultrasound into the room to the point of care uh, and get a quick evaluation on the patient to see if we can figure out exactly what happened uh, and correct those measures as quick as possible as opposed to just performing ACLS blindly um, in an uh, effort to try to, re to resuscitate the patient without actually taking care of the thing that caused uh, the issue to begin with. So uh, another good uh, indication for the field protocol is prognostication. For instance, uh, oftentimes we'll go forward with uh, ACLS protocol uh, without knowing what's going on and if you actually put uh, the ultrasound probe on and find that the patient has a situation where they can't recover from it after a set amount of minutes of resuscitation, uh, you can use that prognostication to uh, decide whether you want to stop. Find things that are um, correctable and actually correct them uh, so that um, the patient won't have continued issues uh, as you push on with your resuscitation. Things like uh, hypovolemia, like tamponade, uh, tension pneumothorax, and even thromboembolism uh, that you wouldn't know were there unless you had the ultrasound at the point of care. The other uh, protocol that we want to discuss today is the FAPE protocol. That's Focused Assessed Transthoracic Echocardiography. In this situation is a little bit different. It focuses on the patient that um, has not arrested but is in a peri-resuscitation uh, state, uh, a shock state, and in that situation we can use the point of care ultrasound to direct our, our therapeutic uh, management by being able to diagnose cardiac dysfunction, also being able to diagnose whether the patient has uh, a hypovolemic state or whether or not they have a pericardial disease that can be managed. Shown here is the position statement for the intent from the Intensive Care Society in 2008, basically demonstrated the different ultrasonographic views that can be used in both the field and the fake protocol. As you can see, the views are fairly similar. Both protocols utilize the uh, parasternal long axis view, the parasternal short axis view, the apical four chamber view, and the subcostal view. Uh, and the FAPE protocol also has a plural view utilizing uh, ultrasound to uh, investigate lung parenchyma uh, to give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, as one could imagine, uh, especially during the field protocol, if active CPR is, is occurring at the time, uh, probably the first view that you want to get is a subcostal view. Uh, as you can probably, you may be able to obtain that view while CPR is ongoing. And then the suggestion is to, in the interim between CPR uh, states and checking for vitals, to try to get your parasternal views uh, and your apical four chamber views. Actually, you could probably get your apical four chamber views uh, as well uh, during CPR, uh, but they're a little bit more difficult to get. Um, FAPE protocols, uh, obviously, the, the whole point of uh, the FAPE protocol is to avoid resuscitation states, so you can get these views. Uh, uh, in any order you like, whatever makes you more comfortable. Uh, my preference is to start with a parasternal long axis view, progress to a short axis view, an apical four chamber view, and a subcostal view as listed here. Mm -hmm.